Jazakallah, Brother Muhammad Sheikh, for your inspiring talk. Now we will start the question and answer session. Uh, it's a simple procedure of asking the question, one question at a time. And if you have any question, please stand up on your seat, ask the question, identify yourself, and then take the seat and your question will be addressed. The question should be pertaining to the topic. I won't entertain any long debates or discussions. Uh, we will start with ladies first. We'll give the, them the opportunity to ask the question first. So we'll ask ladies to ask the question. And I will invite Brother Muhammad Sheikh to come up to the mic and answer the questions. Brother Muhammad Sheikh. Thank you. Yes, please. Wa alaikum salam. My question is, in this lecture, we were listening so many time about the Ruh or the Spirit. Can you clarify what is Ruh by the verses, Qur'an verses? Okay, thank you. In Surah Al-Isra, 17 Surah and Ayah 85 and 86, this question is asked, وَيَسْ أَلُونَ كَنِ الرُّوحُ قُلِ الرُّوحُ مِنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّ وَمَا أُوْتِتُمْ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا وَلَئِنْ شِئْنَا لَنَذْهَبَنَّ بِالَّذِي أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ ثُمَّ لَا تَجِدُ لَكَ بِهِ عَلَيْنَا وَكِيلًا And they ask you about the Ruh, the Spirit. Say a Ruh, the Spirit, is from the order of my Lord. And you are not given except a little from the knowledge. And definitely, if it was our will, we would definitely take away with what we have inspired towards you, then for you, you will not find with anyone advocate over us. You see, this question is a constant question by mankind asking this, what is Ruh, what is Spirit? You see, the word Arabic, Spirit means the essence only. Essence or the Spirit of Ruh, the meaning. But if you understand, like for example, if I'm using certain words, I'm using certain words, and by these words, you understand what I'm saying. So you're listening to the words, but immediately the essence come in you, what I'm saying. Whenever people communicate with each other, they use certain words of a language. They use certain words in a language. And by that language, you understand and try to understand the essence what the other person is saying. That is the spirit of mine if I speak something. And then you respond me back. So a communication is established by people by using words of a language. And by that language we understand each other what we are trying to say to each other. This is the spirit between us. And that spirit is understandable. That is my spirit, your spirit. Similarly, Allah has used the words in Arabic form is the spirit of Allah, the words of Allah, the ayahs that I read, the essence and the understanding of the spirit of the words is, the, is Allah's word, is the spirit of Allah. He is also using words like we are using words. When I use words, you understand my spirit, what I am trying to say. But when Allah uses words, he is communicating and the spirit, when the spirit comes, you understand what, the, what it means. So now I am again reading this. Allah says, Quli ruh, say the essence or the spirit of the words is from my Lord's order. When Allah orders, the essence comes of the words. وَمَا أُوتِيتُمْ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ لَا قَلِيمَ And mankind of all times, the knowledge of the essence of the words is given to people very little. So the mankind are reading the words of Allah, but the knowledge they don't have it. So Allah says, Wama uti tum in plural. The knowledge of the essence or the spirit of to the people is given little. That is why the book is being read number of times. I personally myself may have read number of times the Quran in translation and trying to understand in the ayahs. The whole Quran contains six thousand two hundred thirty-seven ayahs. I have not understood every ayat. The essence of the ayat, every ayat essence, I have not understood in my whole life. Of so many, so many years, I have understand few essence, few words of, of essence of the ayat. 
that little essence I am explaining in so many years. So what I am trying to say, when Allah inspires the sense of the words, it comes from the order of my Lord and the knowledge is little. So whatever the little knowledge is inspired to me or to anybody, he can only speak that. So Allah further said, and definitely if it, is, if it are will, we could definitely take away with that, with what we have inspired to you. He can also take away. After getting the essence of the message of ayahs, if you do not follow and comprehend and practice, Allah takes away the spirit. And then you are left up with empty words. The same ayat, you read it, again it will be like empty. The essence goes away. It, Allah says, and definitely it, if it was our will, we would definitely take away with what we have aspired to you, then for you, you will not find any advocate over us. So what I am trying to say, the knowledge of the spirit is given to people very little. So first of all, this is very important. That mankind in the world are reading the Quran in Arabic, even translation, although still they don't understand it. Until Allah inspires. The, 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 the Ruh is the essence of the words, the whole book words. So in the spirit form, it is, we get, when we get the spirit, then we understand what the words mean. So this is the spirit, Ruh, Jibreel, Ruh Amin, Ruh Qudus is Jibreel, Jibreel is the name, and Ruh Qudus means Holy Spirit, Ruh Rul Amin means trustworthy spirit and this is a whole lecture I have delivered what the Quran says about the spirit of Allah. A separate lecture. This is in short I give you a few eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Wa I'm Mrs. Zaheer. I have a question for you. Uh, in your talk you mentioned that the book is given to all the prophets. Okay? Yeah. What I want you to clarify is the relationship between Quran and the book. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. You see, this, you see that in, in the basic meaning of this book that I hold in my hand, on, in, on the cover it's written Quran. Quran is the cover. But basically if I open what is written on a piece of paper, what is written down, writing. The writing itself is, is, is Arabic means kitab. If I, I've, I've got a blank paper, a paper which is nothing written on it, it's just a copy, a paper, a, a, a sheet, whatever. But once you write anything on anything, it's become a book. The book word in Arabic, kitab, means written one or something written. So you are asking what is the difference between the kitab and the Quran. So first of all, I must explain to you, whatever is written down is a kitab in Arabic, English, the book. And Quran means the reading. Quran means the reading of any book. If I'm reading any book, it's Quran. But if I am reading ayahs of Allah, it's also a Quran. So now when Allah says, what is your question, what is the relation between Quran and the book, or Al-Kitab, there are ayahs I will refer to, Surah Yusuf 12, 1 and 2. Tilka ayatul kitab il mubin Inna anzalnahu Qur'anan arabiyan la'allakum ta'akilun. These are the ayahs, signs of a clear book. We have revealed the Arabic Quran, reading so that you may use your intelligence. Now Allah first says kitab, tilkayatul kitab, mubin, clear kitab, clear book. These are the ayahs that I read. Allah said this is the kitab, clear book. Then he says, In, surely we have revealed, anzalna, we have revealed Arabic Quran. So that means the ayat that I am reading is Arabic Quran, Arabic reading. So Arabic reading, the kitab is book, written, in what language? Arabic language. So, kitab can be written in German, French, Italian. But Allah can clarify, these are the ayahs, book, clear book. Book is referred to book written down, something, but then he further says, surely we reveal Arabic reading. Arabic reading means Quran and Arabiya. La'allakum taqlis, so that you use your intelligence. That is the purpose why the Quran, the Arabic language chosen by God, because the Quranic Arabic is language is such that mankind should use it is based on so perfect mathematically. You can use your intelligence. That's what Allah says. Arabic, normal other languages are not like that as compared to Quranic Arabic. Further it says Az Zukru 43, 2 and 3. Wal kitab il mubin inna jalnahu Quranan Arabian laalakum taqilun. A clear book writing, surely we have made it Arabic Quran reading so that you may use your intelligence. First it is the revelations Arabic, 
the book itself is is, is Arabic. Allah reveal re reading, and now he says we have made it Arabic. So making Arabic Quran and revealing the Arabic reading, both in Allah has revealed also, and he made the book reading of the book also Arabic. So that is why in the whole world you will see people are reading Arabic reading, continuous Arabic reading. That is why he's made the Quran in Arabic. So in the whole world you say you may speak any language of the world but you have to read Arabic Quran. You have to understand in your language whatever you put an effort but you have to read the Salah and the Quran is Arabic reading. That is why I read all the time uh, Arabic first then translate. Arabic first. So now in Surah Yunus 10, 37 وَمَا كَانَ هَذَا الْقُرَانَ يُفْتُرَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ وَلَكِنْ تَصْدِيقَ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَالتَّفْسِيلَ الْكِتَابِ لَا رَيْبَ فِي مِنْ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ And this Quran reading is not that can be produced from other than Allah but it is a confirmation that is between His two hands and a detail of Al-Kitab, the book. No doubt in it from the Lord of the world. Now the book is Arabic. We know ayahs in Arabic, written down is in Arabic. Now reading, Quranic reading is not that can be produced from other than Allah but it is a confirmation what is between your two hands and a detail of the book. When you read, when we read the ayahs in Arabic, even in translation also, but read the Arabic, then the written down is detailed. What we read after reading it, then you understand the detail comes from the Arabic. So that is how Allah says that this book, when you read, Reading Quran is a confirmation what you have in your two hands. Quran means reading. It is a confirmation what you have in your front of you, well, in front of you, between two hands, and it details the book. The, what is written down, it details how you can understand the detail of any book when you read it. So Allah is also saying the same thing that when you read this, you can confirm what you're reading, and at the same time, the what is written down, it becomes a detail. The Quran is a detail of the book. It is a confirmation of the book. This is what it is. Further, also Surah 6, 19, the, the ayat is, قُلْ أَيُّ شَيْنَ أَكْبُرُ الشَّهَدَىٰ قُلِ اللَّهُ شَهِدٌ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنِكُمْ وَأُوْحِيَ إِلَيَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ لِيُنْدِرَكُمْ بِهِ وَمَنْ بَلَقْ أَيِنَّكُمْ لَتَشْهَدُونَ أَنَّ مَا اللَّهِ عَالِيَةً أُخْرَىٰ قُلْ لَا أَشْهَدْ قُلْ إِنَّمَا هُوَ Say what thing is greater in evidence? Say Allah is a witness between me and you. And this Quran, this reading is inspired to me to warn you with it and to whom it is delivered. Do you surely bear witness that with Allah there are other gods? Say I do not bear witness. Say surely is one God and surely I am exempt free what you associate. So Quran also is revealed or inspired. Reading is also inspired and read like room was inspired, it's the reading is also inspired. Then you come to know what, again, again, the book also you come to know what is written down. When the ruh is inspiration comes from the words. So here Allah says, what is the greatest in evidence? Say that Allah is a witness between me and you that the Quran, the reading, we have inspired towards you the reading. So when, when we read, the, when the inspirations come of the reading, then we come to know what the Quran is or what is written down. Towards me, so that I may walk, Allah says, so that you may warn people about and whatever it teaches. So what I'm trying to explain to you, reading in Arabic is very, very important. Reading, it should always be in Arabic. A person who reads only translation will never attain the spirit of the essence of Allah. The spirit of Allah, essence of Allah is always in Arabic. Translated afterwards. But if I just read the translation, I can never understand. Maybe I, a human error in a translation is, is possible. Whether you understand Arabic or do not understand Arabic, but you must try, as you know, we read in Arabic. But you must also compare the translation all the time to understand in your language. So that's it. Farhana yes, please. Uh, thank you for delivering such an okay. lecture today. Uh, uh, to clear more, uh, to understand more clearly, would you please uh, clarify uh, the religion of Ibrahim to us? Okay. You see, this this I've already I spoke in my lecture also that I've already delivered a lecture on religion of Ibrahim. You see, there are many aspects 
of life or in religion, in our religion, in Islam. Actually, Islam is not a religion. It is deen and deen is judgment. In the deen in the life Islam, most certainly the deen, the judgment in the nearness of Allah is Islam. So Allah has laid down the judgments in the ayahs. You have to judge by this, you have to judge by this. So actually Allah, this is the judgments laid down in the ayahs by Allah. The way how to follow up, go about it is the religion of Ibrahim. So I have already delivered a lecture, but I will just give you a few points because people think there is no sunnah of Ibrahim Islam in the Quran. Generally people think in the world that there is nothing mentioned about Ibrahim Islam that we can get the sunnah or the practice how to follow the religion because you have to know the sunnah of the, of the Prophet. So Allah says in the Quran, uh, with Ibrahim Islam, he, I am just giving you the reference, I won't read, read the whole ayahs, I am just giving you in Surah Safat 37, 91 to 93, in the Quran you can write down these references that Ibrahim broke the idols of mankind. He is the only one prophet in the whole Quran where Allah says that Ibrahim al broke the idols of mankind which were in their minds, one, one aspect of life. Because all mankind of all times have idols in their mind. Idols means psychological idols. So every psychological idol, when you read the ayahs of Ibrahim al you will come to know that your idol is also one of them, my idol is also one of them. Then, he is all the father of religion. So Allah says in, in Surah Hajj 22, 78, He is the father of religion and he, Allah has named us Muslim submitters. So the messenger may be a witness over us. This is, this is how he is the father of religion, mentioned the Quran. Then there is another ayat in Surah Baqarah 2 that Allah made him Imam. First he was, uh, Allah tried him by words. How he tried, listen, this was also important, how he tried by words. I am just giving my, I am just giving reference but I am explaining myself. You see the words in Arabic are words, ayats, are in words form. And once you understand the words in translation and the also the spirit. So similarly Allah tried Ibrahim al-Islam with words. So once the words understood, then he, Allah says the messenger has to deliver the message in the language of the people. So he has to in a way translate. The message is always in Arabic, all the time in all times. But he has to translate, Ibrahim has to translate, translate the lang in the language of the people. Musa Salaam says, Qala Rabbi Shali Sadi wa Sili Amri wa Ahlul Ugdata Mil Lisani Yafqawul Ovli. Because Musa Salaam language and the language of the Firaun was not Arabic. But the message revelation is also Arabic. So Musa Salaam has to transfer the message in the non Arabic language. So, similar, any man who has to translate and transfer the spirit, because you have to be very careful. What Allah has inspired you should be delivered as possible near to the what Allah has explained to you. Similarly, he was tried by the words of Allah. He understood, he completed those words. Allah made him the Imam of the world. He, Allah, then Ibrahim is the Imam, the leader of mankind. And that that standing pushing position of the of the Imam in Masjid Aram, Mil Fihi Aydum Bayyat Maqamu Ibrahim. The ayah sign. In the, in the standing position of Ibrahim, where Ibrahim Islam used to stand and pray, that maqam where Imam, Imam of Sheikh Ted Mosque stands today is the standing position of Ibrahim. So you will say Maqam Ibrahim is also in the house of Allah. So I am saying religion of Ibrahim is established in the sacred mosque also today. Then Maqam Ibrahim Musalla is mentioned with him. Allah also showed him the, the kingdom of the skies. You know this Ibrahim Islam, you see this ayat is very, I will just read one verse. Seventy of Kadalika Nuri Ibrahima Malakuta Samavati Val Ard Walyukuna Minal Mukirin and likewise we showed Ibrahim the kingdom of the skies in plural and the earth that he might be of those of sure belief. You know skies, how many skies are there? Once you see one, we see one. So Allah says we show Ibrahim the Sam the skies one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the seven is, on the seven is, above seven is? Who said this? You. So, so Ibrahim has been ascended to God. How can he see from here the seven skies? Or can he see? You understand what I am saying? So they say Muhammad Rasulullah ascended, he went one sky, then he sent second sky, the third sky, five, six. It's not mentioned in the book of Allah. But Allah says, Allah is saying, uh, we showed 
Ibrahim, the kingdom of the skies. Nobody seems to read this. So I am saying he, Allah showed him the skies, all the seven skies, because he is plural, Samawat and earth. His kingdom of the skies and the earth, he should be shown everything. So that he should be of those of a sure belief. So Allah, well, I am saying that Allah is explaining the Millat to Ibrahim and he says, so that means Ibrahim was showed the kingdom of the skies, seven skies and the earth. Seven is not written, but I know it is Allah says seven skies in the Quran. So seven skies he saw, who Ibrahim Allah showed. And how he saw a star, a planet, and then he saw a sun, a moon and a sun, that is a separate story. But he showed the kingdom of the skies. This is also with him. Then, the turning of the Qibla, he saw this and he saw this and he now said, and he said, Inni vajjatu vajjali fatar samawati wala. So he says that I, I turn my face, set up my face. So he said here, Inni vajjatu vajjali ladhi fatar samawati wala hanifa wa maana min al-mushri. So I have oriented, meaning to ascertain my true position, my face for the one who originated the skies and the earth. And I am not from those who associate with Allah. So it is also with Ibrahim and Islam. And Hajj is also mentioned, Surah 22, 26, 27 is mentioned with Ibrahim and Islam. And the most important, I will read this one, Surah Mumtaina 64. Mm-hmm. وَبَدَا بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمُ الْعَدَاوَةُ وَالْبَغْضَاءُ أَبَدَا حَتَّى تُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَحْدَا إِلَّا قَوْلَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ لِيَبِي لَا اسْتَغْفِرَنَّ لَكْ وَمَا أَمْلِكُ لَكَ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ رَبَّنَا عَلَيْكَ تَوَكَّلْنَا وَإِلَيْكَ أَنَبْنَا وَإِلَيْكَ الْمَصِيرِ Without doubt, there is for you the most beautiful pattern in Ibrahim and those with him. When they said to the people, surely we are exempt of you and of whatever you worship, serve besides Allah. We have rejected you and there has arisen between us and you enmity and hatred forever unless you believe in Allah and Him alone. Except the saying of Ibrahim of his father, definitely I will seek forgiveness for you and I am not the possessor from Allah in anything for you. Our Lord, our trust is over you and we depute, represent towards you and our determination is towards you. Now this ayah قَدْ كَانَتْ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَا فِي إِبْرَاهِيمِ وَالَّذِينَ مَعْ You will never hear this ayah any most of the world. فِي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَا You will always hear. Not Ibrahim a.s. قَدْ كَانَتْ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمِ By name. By name. وَالَّذِينَ مَعْ And those who are with him. That means Ibrahim al-Islam is the father and all the prophets are with him. And Muhammad sallallahu is the seal of all the prophets. So he is also with him. Everyone is with Ibrahim al-Islam. So all of them is the Uswai Asla. All of them. All the prophets for us is beautiful pattern. Uswai Asla. Everywhere prophets. So what I am saying is Ibrahim a.s. and all the prophets including Muhammad as the seal of the prophet are uswa hasana for mankind by name Ibrahim a.s. is mentioned when nobody talks about it and here the, the, the most important is that the point number one is they said to their people meaning Ibrahim a.s. all the prophets and messengers and the believers righteous believers we said when they said to their people surely we exempt of you and whatever you worship serve besides Allah that we have to, believers have to say this. Number two, we have rejected you and there has arisen between us and you enmity and hatred forever. Unless you believe in Allah alone, Him alone. This, this behavior is, a, is a, the behavior of a believer with Ibrahim Islam, all the prophets and believers have to take a stand like this with his all family around and his own family member except the father. Accept the saying of Ibrahim for his father. Definitely I seek for forgiveness for you. I am not the possessor from Allah in anything. Except for father, even he is not a Muslim, he is a mushrik. Ibrahim al father was Azar, was a mushrik. But he asked, he, had a, he promised his father that I will ask for forgiveness for you. So you can ask forgiveness for your father. Rabbana filli wali wali 
is parents. So you can ask forgiveness for your parents, even they are mushrik by the by this because he says otherwise there is an enmity. He says enmity and hatred forever. We have rejected you, and there has arisen between you and us enmity and hatred forever, unless you believe in Allah alone, Him alone. Accept the saying. His father was also like that. So he says accept the saying of the Ibrahim to his father. Definitely, I will ask seek forgiveness for you. So Ibrahim al Islam, no doubt his father was a bushik, still asked for forgiveness for his father. And we recite in the salah, Rabbi Jalli Mukim as Salati when we sit sitting position, Wamin Duryati Rabbana wa Takabal Dua, Rabbana Fili Wali Wali Daya, Wali Mukmina Yawma Yakum al Hisab in the prayer. We recite Rabbi Jalli. It is the dua again, Ibrahim al Islam. So Ibrahim al Islam, name is mentioned by Usfasna, beautiful pattern. And he, the prayer is with him, the salah is with his name, Maqam Ibrahim is mentioned in the Hajj and in the, in the sacred mosque and Hajj is also mentioned. All the things is mostly mentioned, that is why the religion, that is how we follow the religion. The separate lecture I have already given. Thank you.